Okay, so here's a video about exposing spaces and how to utilize them to better your workflow. So if you go ahead and click System Preferences, and then um, here you'll find Expose and Spaces. So if you go ahead and click that, under the Expose a tab, you'll find uh, this area here which allows you to customize which hotspots. Um, on your screen do what functionality if that makes sense so um, so say for example you have all windows here um, say if I have loads and loads of multiple windows um, let me just move this across you can just go to the top corner and it will basically showcase all of the windows that's open um, and lets you preview them you can navigate between them as well um, easily and efficiently um, over here you have desktop which basically does exactly what it says which is it shows the desktop so if you go to the top right as you can see uh, my desktop appears uh, dashboard at the bottom here it will basically display your widgets and um, all windows again at the bottom Button right, which um, I'll put there because I use all windows more than anything else. Um, you can customize this to whatever you want. If you click it, uh, it will give you a few more other options like show application windows, spaces, and start your screensaver, etc. Um, best advice I can give you guys is just to mess around with it and then you know just kind of get a rough idea of what you like to use more and uh, make your own setup. Um, down here, you'll find um, this uh, other ways to uh, use uh, the functionality of Expose using hotkeys. Um, I have it on F9, so if I press Function and F9 and F10 and so so forth, basically it will showcase um, all my stuff. You can again change, um, personalize it to whatever you want, and um, yeah, other. Uh, around here as well you should get um, maybe um, where you can use multi uh, your multiple touchpad and um, just navigate using like you know four fingers swiping up and down and etc um, I'm using an old MacBook at the moment so um, I don't have that functionality but um, you newer generation of, pe of people will probably have that so um, good for you guys Okay, so moving on to spaces, um, if you click on enable spaces, it will allow you to have multiple desktops and multiple workspaces, which is useful for um, spreading things out, um, spreading your windows apart and um, you know, making things not as cluttered as they should be kind of thing. So for example, like say I, basically I have like five Explorer windows open like you know I can basically split up so it's like not as not as crowded would you say so um, yeah you can also uh, tick this which um, basically um, hides uh, basically hides the menu uh, menu bar option which basically is the same thing um, which is just another method of letting you switch between each space um, here you can um, adjust how many rows and columns you want. Um, you can add, I think, up to 16 spaces. I'm not sure, but um, it goes up to quite a lot. But um, I use four only because I don't want to confuse myself too much navigating between them all. So, um, yeah. You can set what applications open in which spaces um, just by clicking the plus icon here. Go to other and then it should list up all your applications that's installed uh, you just click any one of those and then click add and they will appear here and from here you can just set which space you want them to open in or on a, or if you want them to stay in every single space that you navigate between um, down here again like similar to expose you get the option to customize what kind of hotkeys uh, you can use so I'm as currently using control and the arrow keys to navigate between them all 
and um, you can also use control 1, 2 and 3 um, which is the default but again you can customize it to um, like to like um, command or alt um, and one of the other keys or and so on um, I think again you can use the multi gesture stuff um, here as well so um, yeah just keep that in mind so um, cool ways of using it of using expose and spaces um, you can move objects from one window to another fairly easily so for example say if I'm uh, say if I have this say if I want to move an image onto this text file that I have here um, and the, but then the text file is behind this window as you can as you can see obviously um, if you would like to drag that uh, drag an image or something onto the text file at the bottom you can either just uh, go to go to the top corner and then navigate to the preview of the text pad and then just drop it in the text pad you can also do it with text as well so say if I want to just like drag this text over to the text pad as well you can do that um, you can drag like pictures onto your emails as well and um, so forth um, another way of doing it is also if you drag drag it over the icon at the bottom of the dock and then it will just show your text file and stuff um, yeah uh, you can also move um, particular pictures through spaces if you hold hold on an image or um, a text or whatever and then press control and one of the other keys you can move it across to one of the other windows if you have say you have mail or something open in one of the other other windows um, uh, yeah you can also go and use the desktop functionality as well and just drop it on the desktop if that's what you wanted which it didn't work there but basically it, yeah it worked there so um, yeah that's that's a few ways of using um, expose and spaces so yeah overall the best advice I can give you guys is just to um, test out your own kind of um, workflow and just customize it to whatever suits you really so um, yeah take care see you later bye